Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Mikey G, and it's Saturday, August 12th. A new drone flyover video gives us a good look at Tesla's growing Gigafactory Berlin and a beautiful look at the version 4 supercharger at the factory. Last month, Tesla revealed its plan for the second phase of the expansion with battery production. But in terms of the next vehicle program, that one's still up in the air. The expansion is going forward nonetheless, as shown by a new flyover posted by Tobias Lind. The video shows a lot of construction work happening around the plant, adding to the existing building for the first phase. The new version 4 superchargers are on display, which rest under a solar canopy, and the charger pylons are aligned in a row of about 20. We previously noted that we have some hope that Tesla will finally move forward with adding solar capacity and batteries at more supercharger stations with this next generation. This flyover video could at least be a tiny indicator that that could be on the way. Hopefully. Elon Musk claims that Tesla may have figured out some aspects of artificial general intelligence and believes the system may have its own mind. The CEO has said several times that he believes most of Tesla's value is attached to self-driving, and he says that Tesla could achieve it by the end of the year. Now, the Tesla community is divided between believers who think that the automaker is indeed about to deliver and people who have been burned too many times by missed timelines. In either case, Elon Musk has noted confidence, saying on Twitter, quote, I think we may have figured out some aspects of AGI. The car has a mind. Not an enormous mind, but a mind nonetheless. Lucid Motors has issued three separate recalls, or what they're calling a recall, or what they're forced to call a recall, and this all in the same week. It affects 6,360 Lucid Air electric sedans. Two of the issues can be fixed with over-the-air software updates, and actually already have. The biggest of these issues impacts 5,523 vehicles, and it's a physical one, in which the wiper arm nut may loosen and it can reduce visibility and increase the chances of a crash. The second recall impacts 59 units with software. The rear view camera on them may fail to display while in reverse. And lastly, for 778 models, it's a potential power loss issue that has already been fixed with a software update. You know, we truly live in a great day when many of these issues can be fixed without the owners even noticing. Tesla, of course, led the way on many of these technologies, as well as blazing a trail in the media in which they're often blasted for needing so-called recalls, instead of just saying what it is, a software update. In this case, Lucid is under the same pressure, but not nearly in the center of the spotlight. The Chinese joint venture between General Motors and SAIC has launched an electric hatchback in the Chinese market called the Baojun Yunduo. Now this means the Baojun Cloud. The vehicle actually starts at a pretty low price for the segment, $13,200, or the equivalent of such. The electric five-seater is offered in two different battery options, 37.9 and 50.6 kilowatt hours, which the company says is good for 223 or 285 miles of range, respectively. The Baojun Cloud will face competition from the Volkswagen ID3, which recently slashed prices, and also the current tiny sedan king in the Middle Kingdom, which is coming from the domestic maker BYD and their vehicle called the Dolphin. Just over a week after opening reservations for the Fisker Ronin, we now have a price tag, $385,000. Fisker also shared that they only intend to build 999 of them. So it's going to be pretty exclusive. With a 0 to 60 in less than 2 seconds, the supercar definitely has turned some heads, including right now from sticker shock. The hyper-fast and consequently long-range EV was first revealed alongside two additional completely different programs from Fisker, a small crossover and an electric pickup truck. All of these are going to be ready by the end of 2025, according to Fisker. For the Ronin, Fisker says that customers can put down an initial deposit of $2,000, but they also have the option to pay another $1,000 that's fully refundable to get a second vehicle reservation. You know, when they have $770,000 just burning a hole in their pocket, I know what I would do. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Martin Wood says, Good to hear Volex is a British company. We need the business. A UK free trade agreement with the USA might be in the cards, according to American politicians who were speaking to the BBC this week. 
You know what, Martin, that really does sound nice. I know a lot of things flourish within free trade agreements between two countries. It actually reminds me of a discussion that I saw on British TV between Australia and Hong Kong. They were discussing the fresh new agreement of unrestricted trade between all parties at all levels. But you know what? Unfortunately, the discussion didn't go well, and it devolved into declarations of war. I gotta hand it to the British journalists because they had a man on the scene right at the border of Australia and Hong Kong right when the fighting broke out. Now, I can't imagine that such a thing would happen between the USA and UK, but if it does, you can bet that I would be right on the border with a camera and a microphone. Thanks for watching Quick Charge. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.